I cleaned this front panel off some with just some water. I don't really think I should use anything stronger. I might take the labeling right off. In fact, let me wipe the back side of this board off too. Just to get any debris or dust out of there. Okay, the next thing it says is to install the new PCB, or at least locate it in the position here. And the wires that normally went through that hole will go through this slot here now. Well, it sure went in there a lot easier than the old one came out. Wow. That was quite easy. Wow, that looks nice in there now. Next thing is to in reinstall a couple screws here on that PCB. Okay, I just put two screws in there. <clears throat> Let's see what the next step is. Reinstall the yellow and gray wires in the respective holes in the bottom side of the new PCB power supply and solder on the bottom. So the yellow and gray, oh, let's see here with the amplifier harness. Uh, reinstall the yellow and gray wires in their respective holes in the bottom side of the new power supply PCB solder on the bottom side. Well it looks like they mean to install it on top. There's a hole here. One is marked Y for yellow. One is marked GY for gray. I will solder those from the bottom side. Okay, those two are soldered in place. Place the amplifier upside down. I got a little ahead of myself there. Next thing is just to reinstall this panel. I decided to put this screw in here at the bottom here so that if I drop it, it's not going to fall to the bottom of the amplifier again. Next step is to install, reinstall these nuts on this. It says now to go ahead and reinstall all the um, the screws on this new PCB, but turn it on its side with the transformer down first.
I've gone ahead and soldered in the two uh, wires that came from the transformer and also this blue high voltage wire into the high voltage terminal here. The next thing is, is to put a, a new resistor in here, that 15K resistor that came with the kit, and solder this blue wire on as well. So I gotta take out this old resistor first, which is almost done now. Okay, so the blue wire gets attached to here, and this other one that goes to ground or goes to the chassis has the the 15 ohm or 15k ohm resistor. Okay, let's ch check that against the diagram again. 15K over to the ground lug. Blue wire from the new board and it, it shows that it's a blue wire from the harness but it's actually a gray wire. That was the last of the electrical installation of the new power supply board. So the only thing I have to do now is put the knobs back on the front. I want to do some cleaning on those knobs and I'll have to repair that one knob that was stuck. I'm ready to plug it in again after the power supply upgrade has been done. I went ahead and put a little bit of a flat black paint on the uh, transformer to make it look a little better. And uh, hopefully uh, we don't let out any smoke. Let's give it a try. I do have it plugged in again to a dummy load with no exciter power here, just in case. Let's see what happens. And it powers right up. We got 2400 volts. It looks great. I'm going to turn it off again. Let's make sure it keys correctly, like it did last time. So I'm going to plug this into the antenna relay port and I'm going to key it manually just want to hear it click and it does okay so that part is done <laughs>